so first of all you have to search some web templates there are so many web templates are available on on web you just you have to write here a uh, free css template and google search and there are so many website by which you can get your css templates so uh, there are some examples over here you can see uh, you can take preview and after that you can download the tem template so it's not a big task to download any template you can do it easily so come on on our topic and uh, i have decided to take this template and this template is looking pretty looking pretty so start and uh, i will integrate in our my app dot net with the application it's just a index.html web template okay fine so what to do first first of all please see the this uh, step by step process carefully because it's a very useful for us because if you are making any new website and if you need uh, if you need that uh, a website uh, looking should be very nice then you have to use your web templates and you have to in integrate those web templates in asp.net web application so uh, first of all i will copy all the files which are available in template and uh, paste them in your application i have application uh, prog video this is my web application name and i am putting my all files which are copied from that template so you can see all the files at here then first of all open the index.html page after in opening index.html page you can see the whole uh, layout of your application first of all you have to decide that which part of your of this page will be dynamic or static right i have decided that i will put this part a dynamic part and uh, i will put i i have to use master page for it so you know that how we can uh, create master page just you have to select uh, a master page template from uh, add, uh, add items and uh, you can give this master page name main master main dot master okay then let's add we know that uh, content place holder is a dynamic part in master page and uh, we have two content place holders uh, we will discuss uh, content place holders working and the, the main working of these this uh, content place holder in head tag in later videos so first of all open index.html file copy this all data from here like uh, this uh, this whole data in table so i copied from body i am taking it sorry we will copy it later main dot master master i don't need this div just place all the copied data over here and uh, this body tag properties uh, margin zero width everything copy copy it and uh, put in your body tag where is my body tag ah okay so now you have to see that what is available in your head tag there there is an an style sheet and uh, style sheet reference has been passed in head tag so you have to do same just copy it and place in your master page head tag fine style dot css so you can see the final output and uh, what in this master page we didn't attach content place holder so now you have to decide that which part will be dynamic as i told you that uh, my dynamic part is here just select that part you have selected this part or this part or this part i decided that this part should be dynamic part so i will select the content of this tag select tag content and i will make them uh, or copy them i will copy it and i will put in not set file okay and uh, make it comment td select tag contain and make it command 
okay so put here your content placeholder which you have deleted previously so your dynamic part will come here now make an another page which is which will be your home page i will put my page name home dot a s p x k okay? then edit sorry i have did some mistake uh, add new item web form i put the name home dot a s p x and select master page add we have only single master page so we have to select it and uh, whatever content you have put in your notepad file copy all that data or it's up to you that if you want to copy it then you you will see the the previous result what if you don't want then there is no need to put this and you can add your own data like uh, i will put here my contain placeholder data okay you can see the results okay now this is my home page and uh, whatever i have put in my con s2 uh, element of html my content placeholder data is has been displayed or if you want to look it good then your copied data will place here fine and uh, again execute it or refresh it you will see the result okay so thanks for watching this video we are really appreciate to give a uh, give us chance so if you need this video uh, source code then you can directly visit our website or you can uh, send and request on our email info@websoftcreation.com thank you very much